you all Atopia. Today we're going to review the Bellroy Micro Sleeve. This is the far end of the dot sleeve spectrum of Bellroy's wallet products. All right, we have the typical Bellroy packaging. The consistency is always nice to see. They do sewing on the edge here for their packaging itself. And so if we open this up, we have the Micro Sleeve. This is a nice tan and green combination color. I like the combo that they have there. But, uh, it's quite good. Let's take a look at this here. Good sewing, especially at the edges, the ends of it there. This is a pinch open, a little crunchy as we start that. Nice and minimal. On to the feature review. With the Bellroy micro sleeve, we can see here that uh, we have a card slot right here on the front and if we move it immediately over we'll say whoa there's no card slot up here it's actually down here it is kind of an up and down approach of cards and so they have another card slot down here and uh, and that provides the exterior access to features and then on the interior if you pinch it it provides you access to the interior card or cash for those who want to understand uh, how big this is with four cards and three slips of cash Let's uh, take a measurement here and see. So we're looking at you know, 0.3 inches uh, in the center when you've got that there. All right, let's see what we can get into this thing by way of cards and cash. As you noticed, I got four cards in there, plus three slips of cash, and you notice that it was starting to show. Now the company says it can hold two to four quick access cards on these exterior pieces here. I had four. And on the interior it can hold cash folded over twice or additional cards. I think seven cards without cash would be the maximum, and ideal would be really one card in each with a quick access slot with two on the exterior. Now if you want to use cash, then two cards in each of the exterior quick access slots and then only cash on the on the interior like we talked about would work but it is very tight remember this is uh, truly the micro wallet offering from Bellroy US and Canadian cash would work great yen and euro would work because you can fold it over twice but it does it it will it does and it will get a little bulky now from a quality perspective as we've always mentioned with Bellroy products it is designed in Australia made in China it is made from environmentally certified top grain veg tanned leather and it does it does actually smell quite nice. And in this particular wallet, there is no RFID. I know, another win. I really wish more companies would ditch their RFID offerings. It's seriously just a marketing ploy, and it ruins the leather. However, the leather is cut very thin, and while not always a problem, can be an issue if the preparation process is weak, for example, with the leather, or uh, if the usage on the wallet after you get it is too rough. Now there have been reports of the color wearing off, the, stitch and, the stitching popping, water damage, etc. Just really after a short period of time. And for the price uh, of this wallet, you'd think it would, it would last longer than that. And speaking of price, it is $65. And that's pretty expensive for what you're getting here. So you would expect it to last at least, you know, three years, hopefully. Now there, this is very easy to use. This pinch method here, as you can see, uh, makes it really easy. And obviously the design of having the the uh, up down approach here is what facilitates that from where you have the, le the leather that enters that enters itself there and so it's really quite clever and so it really forces the single layer to give way to this design here on both here and that what is what allows the pinch to occur now by way of measurements it measures four inches by 2.8 by 0.2 now again our perception on this is what we've always had with Bellroy they have a three-year warranty on the products for defects and materials used under normal use. Now there might be concern about what this normal use in a legal speak really means, but the company continues to demonstrate that they take care of their customers. Now, like I mentioned, there's been reports of leather quality that have been persistent and, and could be an issue of how thinly split this leather is. Uh, it does appear to stretch out quickly after use. And with this particular design, one of the complaints has been that with this over and this top and bottom over under up down design, that uh, as it stretches, it can result in cards potentially falling out. So if you pull it out of your wall, out of your pocket this way, cards here could be falling out or vice versa. 
Now, regardless of these items, their slim wallets have always performed well for me as, when I've, I've used them. And so it is also worth noting, again, with Bellroy that they are a certified B Corporation. So they, they meet the highest standards of verified social, uh, environmental performance, and quality because what they do is that they want to make sure that they have full transparency, they have legal accountability because they balance profit with purpose. And, and that is admirable, if anything else. Now again, based in Australia, founded in 2010. So overall, we do like Bellroy products, uh, and, uh, and this one in particular is a great, great minimalist slim, and it forces you to be minimalist in what you're carrying here. So it is kind of a challenge. Now let's get on to the final score. For quality of four, price a two, features of four, usability of three, and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 34 out of 50. Thanks for watching as always. Look at these other videos. Appreciate your comments below. Things you'd like to see by way of wallets that we're not even aware of. We love those comments. Tell us what you think. Thanks, bye.